Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Big Drank, not the little one, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong scene. Now y'all see me? You can see me in my little, in my handsome glory and shit. Handsome glory. You know what I'm saying? I hope the mic's audio is good. All the levels are straight. It's Big Drank, not the little one. Welcome back to Drank World, you know what I'm saying? Before we get into anything, I want to thank y'all. We got up to, I think we're just, we're, we're just hitting over 400 subs, so we're going to clap it up fake clap audio is going to be in the background don't worry about nothing but i want to thank y'all for the subs you know i'm saying we're on our way to 500 and you know what happens at 500 if you don't know you're gonna find out right now we're giving away a hundred dollars at 500 subscribers so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications and just drop a comment here drop a four in the comment section or your leave your opinion on the video whatever as long as i see a comment from you when i go back and check your page check your channel history everything like that see you drop the comment you subscribe you got the notice turned on you're gonna be able to be entered and you may be able to win that hundred dollars no friends no predetermined winners no family none of that shit is going to go to one of y'all that support me support the page and everything that i got going on everything that i'm a part of so i appreciate y'all i love y'all i'm gonna give y'all that back in the form of a hundred dollars that's 400 quarters that's ten thousand pennies that's one hundred dollar bill that's a hundred ones that's two fifties that's five dubs i could go on but y'all gonna get that anyway, man. Listen, we got some news here. We got some news here going on. If y'all know, you know what I'm saying? You might not know, you might know. My last video I put out was about Caribou and the whole Concrete Boy situation. It seems as though, at least at that time, we were suspecting that she might have left Concrete Boys. Uh, now it seems as though we might have got a bit more confirmation, uh, you know, to, 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 it, she, ain't a, she ain't a part of Concrete anymore. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know the exact reason. And that's exactly why you're here. That's why I'm here. We're going to watch this video. So let's get right into it, man. Like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. Let's go. You should know that I made a video yesterday. Shout out Duty for the original content. Check his channel in the description. I have the video as well in the description. Shout outs to him. Now, some of y'all should know that I made a video yesterday called Caribou was removed from Concrete Boys. In more of the story, it was just a lot of information that kind of like confirmed that there was something that was definitely happening behind the scenes. But you had people saying, that oh it's just promo like it's it's not real bro it's for caribou next album where's caribou and so many people was confused because you just really didn't know what to believe there were so many things adding up that caribou could be removed from the concrete boys and after i posted the video i'm like bro i know there has to be something going on bro you know what i'm saying i don't think yachty and the team is that corny to do all of this just for a promo like would you can you would consider it corny I, I don't know if I'd be able to consider her making that kind of move, especially if it's at the behest of the person who runs the label. I don't know if I'd be able to consider that corny. Now, would it be honest? No, but a lot of things that you see aren't honest. You should figure that out now. You know what I'm saying? Santa's not real either. So, I mean, it is what it is. If you choose to be offended at the fact that they kind of pull stunts or maneuvers to gain action in the eyes of the public then you know welcome to the welcome to the entertainment business that's you know that's the combination of the word business as well i mean you being it's entertainment it's wwe with that you know it's a soap it's a it's a soap opera it's drama it's it's more for everyone to talk about it's content i mean if there wasn't that going on you wouldn't have a video to make right now so you got to kind of look at it with the yin and yang of a lot of things maybe that's the anime watcher in me <laughs> That's just like, there's got to be a good to the evil or the evil to the good, protagonist to the antagonist, et cetera, et cetera. But I mean, if there wasn't that happening, you wouldn't have a video to make. There wouldn't be any, you know what I mean? So we got to we gotta at least accept the possibility that it was a publicity stunt. And if it was, you know, you don't, I, I wouldn't judge in regards to it, especially because it worked. Especially because it worked for one person, but that's like, but today Yanni definitely an option that caribou is no longer a part of the concrete boy so we're gonna actually check this video out because he went on live on ig yeah and it's now this is confirmed directly from yadi that's one thing i did not expect i won't lie i didn't expect him to speak out on it especially with him being figurehead the label owner etc I, I wouldn't have expected him to be the one to kind of confirm it i figured he may give someone else the initiative to like kind of okay or the okay to confirm it you know one promo but for him to directly I speak that's interesting that is no longer a part of the concrete boy so we're gonna actually check this video out because he went on live on ig yeah and as you can see right here lil yachty confirms caribou is no longer a part of the concrete boys let me go ahead and play the bid you know, 
trying to say this. I'm gonna say this shit one time. I don't he don't look like he's acting, bro. This looks very serious. I'm gonna say this shit one time. I don't we uh have split ways with Gary as far as this concrete shit. Um, mm-hmm. I don't have nothing. I don't know what to say. Nothing bad to say. Nothing negative to say. Okay. You really shouldn't. Everything looked okay on the outside, but ain't no telling what was going on behind the scenes. I think that's a very important aspect of this is that we should remain understanding that we don't know what was going on behind the scenes, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that it did look good on the surface, but that's their job. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of everybody's job with this internet shit. If you don't know, I mean, people are portraying what they want you to see. That should be pretty obvious with the fact that it's not 24 seven and they don't just live stream all day. You know what I mean? And they're not just, I mean, it should just, it should just be easy enough to understand that they're going to portray the best possible, um, you know, depiction of themselves. They don't want to look, they don't want to be put in a negative light. So they're going to spin themselves to be in a positive light. And with that being said, we wouldn't have known with a lot, you know, we wouldn't have known a lot of these things probably going on behind the scenes, whatever the, whatever the case may be, but it definitely seemed as though they were, you know, very, uh, very tight knit tight knit of a family hold on here everything looked okay on the outside but and as he said everything looked okay on the outside but we don't know exactly what's going on behind closed doors i want to see exactly what yadi kind of goes into if he gives us a bit more detail as to what was going on so let's see ain't no telling what was going on behind the scenes um about care i wish her um the best in her career and, um, yeah you know that person that be trying to keep their cool that's what this looked like he's just trying not to let out his anger and stuff um, what's that you know um, yeah that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much it I don't have anything anything really bad to say or anything good to say. Damn. Split, you know? um, that part, I don't know if I like too much. You don't have anything bad to say. That's great. That's a good, that shows good on your character. I'm not going to say that not having anything good to say is a negative on your character as much as I would say it's a negative in the situation because you just didn't have to say that. You could have just left it at I have nothing bad to say. And then that would just be a fact. It would still be a fact that you have nothing good to say, but we just wouldn't have had to know that. And now we can sit here and judge you on it. But that was a split second decision for him to speak or while speaking, you know, for him to say that I'm sure and I'm not going to dissect it too, too much, but um, I will, you know, I'm, I'm here reacting and giving my reaction. And, and that is what, that is, that is what came across my mind. Damn. I wish the best for Kara in her career. At least he wished the best for her. You feel me? Somebody said W promo for her next album, bro. Can y'all stop saying that? Y'all been saying that all day, bro. Like, I get that y'all don't want to believe that there's something going on. Y'all like to play that, oh, I knew everything. I knew it was promo. Like, y'all like to play that factor. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. You can keep thinking that way, but like, bro, are y'all going to do that with everything that comes up? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying believe everything that you see on the internet. I'm saying, like, at least be open-minded. You can't act like it's just impossible for this to happen. It was already things adding up that caribou was kind of like on her own i remember she was complaining about having label problems with qc and stuff she didn't even like the fact that her music wasn't being pushed out as much as she wanted to but like i said for this past month it's been like on and off with the whole concrete boy thing caribou has been doing a lot of stuff on her own i have not been seeing her with concrete boys like that just i haven't so when this came up i wasn't too surprised you know what i'm saying i was actually surprised that they weren't addressing the situation that fast you know what i'm saying usually when it's popping like that you want to just get it out and just let them know but like they actually waited until today and Lil yachty confirmed it and now i'm just really curious to what caribou is gonna do because i ain't gonna lie she got her shine now like yachty definitely helped her you know what i'm saying the whole concrete that's a fact she definitely has her shine and her momentum it's enough for 
her to go forward if she's doing the appropriate things, at least in my opinion. She's got the damn, I know that I smacked the mic right there, my fault, y'all. In my opinion, she's got enough momentum and enough um, of a, wow, my, say hello to Indica. This is Indica. She's been in a video or two before. She has no chill and no respect for anybody. She's just, she just does what she wants, I guess. She's probably going to get in. She's, she wants love. Okay. Can you hear her? Hold on. Okay, she's done with me now. Anyway, I, I forgot what I was saying. Hold on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, she got her shine. Yeah, she got her shine in, uh, in her kind of, uh, in my opinion, I would say she has enough of an infrastructure behind her if she's smart and makes the right moves to be able to move without Yachty. You know what I'm saying? She kind of gets a good out here with him not having anything negative to say about her. You kind of just gets to take what she got from that situation and move along as long as no more negative things kind of come to the light in regards to the situation. So PR wise, if I was her, I would just play nice with Yadi for right now, especially since he didn't just diss her. And eh, we don't know the, the backing or whatever, you know, he could be in the wrong. She could be in the wrong. Nobody could be in the wrong. Um, But I would definitely play nice with the way that she could she she gets to advance here he doesn't get anything from having you know like raised her up here in a sense in the in the rap game like she gets to have that continuing on and, and win from having been coached up by yadi and having been a part of concrete and qc or whatever you know what i mean whereas he doesn't get to just sit there and be like you know i, I coached up caribou at least not anytime soon right now like yadi definitely helped her you know what i'm saying the whole concrete boys thing was cool but but i feel like caribou is also one of those people that can branch out on her own because she had her own thing going on like i don't want to sound weird when i say yeah her the atlanta her and the atlanta underground scene will work well in my opinion definitely gonna be like look at my era. boo like it was cool to see that happening but it ain't like caribou got a little awkward so boys they are called concrete boys i'm actually anticipating what caribou got coming up next because i was actually did this nigga just say they are called concrete boys and that's why he doesn't be a part of concrete boys they are called concrete boys i'm actually this is the nigga you don't go on the two-man with we anticipating what caribou got coming up next we're going to talk about how just women just don't deserve shit for some odd reason i just feel like that's the type of nigga that that is nigga said it is concrete boys nigga you don't let her find ass be in this group because i was actually being in tune with her music instead of a lot of the concrete boys I'm comment down below if you think geo gonna replace her tune with caribou but before i end this video i just want to say by the time i upload this i should be at forty thousand subs and i love y'all so much i just want to say thank you for supporting me he did know? he did in fact hit forty thousand subs by the time i saw this video so shout out duty bro. uh it ain't too much i could say but yeah i love y'all peace now some of y'all should know hey man listen Shout out duty on the on the 40k subs. That's one. That's one shout out duty. Anyway, back to the content. Caribou being officially let go or having being confirmed that she's separated from Concrete Boys is a big blow, in my opinion, to Concrete as a label. Personally, here's what I think. I think Concrete, if it doesn't have something already set, if they don't already have an artist set to go as the new leading front artist is going to be a while since concrete minus just Lil Yachty himself minus his own singular clout until concrete is a is a is a staple the way that they have been currently if they're as as big of a name as they have been currently I think it's going to take a hit I think concrete is definitely going to take a hit and depending on the way that the PR reaction or the social media reaction is to this whole split how both of them kind of which route both of them takes she could take the, the the sour bitter route or as i said she could really say nothing and kind of just eat off this or she could speak on yadi positively i think the best thing here is to speak on yadi positively and i think he took the best move which was to he didn't say anything bad he did say he didn't have anything good to say, but he didn't say anything bad. So let me know what y'all think down below. Do you think Caribou's going to be able to go on her own here uh, as a solo artist? Do you think she needed Concrete Boys? What do you think is going to go on to happen with Concrete as a label? Do you think that they're going to be able to continue to succeed? Because she was, in a lot of people's heads, a figurehead, a forefront of Concrete, um, the leading lady or member of Concrete 
and uh, with her being gone i definitely think that it's going to be detrimental to the label but let me know what you guys think down below drop a like on the video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because at 500 we're giving away the 100 dollars. make sure you turn on uh, the notifications don't miss a video and uh that, yeah that's it for this one man uh check back in on the next video i got one coming for y'all not too long from now maybe about an hour or so it may be one of these videos down here it may not be just make sure you go ahead and click this middle button here you're gonna subscribe and then go ahead and click this card up here watch the taser video it's a new music video i did a uh, self shot edited recorded man go ahead fuck with the music i love y'all see y'all next